Welcome back to Boys on Film at filmarriot.net and over on eqmusicblog.com. Raj is here. Hey everyone. Today we are talking about cinema etiquette. It's the thing that has been the bane of my life, well, for the last few years more so, but I just hate people making a noise when you're meant to be watching a movie. Because yeah. not everybody goes to the cinema for the same reasons that we do. It's true. But they should. They should respect the audience, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason. There's the big uh, sign that comes out that says, no talking. Yeah. Turn your, Turn your mobile off. off. But yeah. people still have them on. Yeah. So what are the, what are the big issues for you? Because for me, it, it's pretty much all of them. It's, it's the lights from the phones, which is really distracting, especially if somebody sat next to you. It's the noise that people make, especially in horror movies, as you know that I'm big fan of horror, yeah. horror films and people do tend to go to watch a horror film just for the novelty factor it's not to do with watching the plot or yeah. the, the movie itself it's just because they just want to be scared and have a laugh I can deal with most things uh, the only thing I can't deal with is the people sitting behind me are talking throughout the movie oh I just it makes me so angry do you tell people to shut up because I do I if you push me far enough you know, you keep talking, then I will say, shut up. Please. You'll snap. <laughs> yeah, or you know, it's usually not just me. It's usually like even other people sitting around me will turn around and say, stop. I mean, you kind of expect that with big blockbusters and big superhero movies. Like, people are just going to talk, but it does. It just drives me apeshit crazy. But then with superhero films, you have got the noise on screen to kind of knock it out. Yeah, so but they're like not... just having random conversations, really, about anything and everything. It doesn't have to do with the movie. It's, yeah. just, it's like, shut up. Please, just shut up. <laughs> I just think it's really disrespectful, too, yeah. because people, unless you've got a card, you've brought yours today, Sydney World Unlimited card, people are paying money to go and see a movie. And obviously, if you've got an unlimited card, which I think is part of the problem, because I think people just know that they can go to as many movies as they like and just make a noise. Yeah, but still, you're watching a movie. It's like be respectful of people there to watch the film as well. Um, I can, I'm, with the mobile phones, I'm not so, like, you know, crazy about that. If, like, at the beginning of the movie or during the trailers, people are on their mobile, or at the end when the credits start to roll, if they whip out their mobile phone, that, that's, that's cool. But, I mean, obviously not in the middle of, you know. Oh, I'm the worst person when it comes to checking my mobile all the time. But yeah. in a movie, I will always switch it off. Yeah. I think you could live without your phone for an hour and a half you for two hours. Can. You definitely can. So this is an interesting thing because you brought your card. You have, well, you've been a member for how long? For a Cinema? year. I've got the, the black one now. I've been a member for the Unlimited card for, I think, probably seven years, eight years. And I've just finished my contract. Yeah. Because of the reason we were talking about it. So I just don't think people that go to, I mean, it's not just that cinema. I think it happens in a lot of those big mainstream cinema chain so I just think people just don't respect movies yeah I'm, I've had my cinema card for a year um, I'm going to keep uh, renewing it because I do find that for me it's like the big blockbusters of, of the big superhero movies like there's some that I can see like five times in, you know five times during its two week run and for me that's worth it so it pays for itself yeah and then um, you know I also think it's handy um, you know if you just <clears throat> don't have anything to do it's always easy just to pop into the movies and there's just so many good films coming out um you know mainstream films and you know popcorn films that i that i want to see in 2018 so um i know what's coming ahead so i think you know even if i go to the movies once a month you're still paying for it or if you go to the movies five times a month then you're saving some money yeah you know although i th i think that with smaller more independent movies um, you should probably go to the, the fun, independent, uh, more adult movie theaters. Like the Curzon. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Picture House Centrals yeah. or the Everyman's, you know, and go see them there because I think people who go see movies there, uh, they're a bit more respectful of the art. It's a different clientele, isn't it? Yeah. That sounds a bit snobby, but it's true. Yeah. I think, you it's know, it's, it's a different place entirely. <laughs> okay, here's another point, Phil. Yeah. What about um, crunching of... Uh, food, popcorn, uh, paper wrapping and stuff. Slurping. I can't bear it. Really? Yeah, I can't bear it. I mean, I know people are going to eat and drink it because that's yeah. all part of the experience, isn't yeah. it? It's the same at home. You've got to have a snack. Well, I've got to have a snack. I've yeah. always got to have a snack. But, I mean, you don't have to be so noisy. Yeah. As an example of that, A Quiet Place, you've seen that at the yes. cinema. And I must admit, most people were 
stunned silence. I, I mean, it was yeah. it was so refreshing to see that people were actually being quiet during that movie. That was the only movie I've ever seen where it actually you felt bad to make a noise. I know, <laughs> but people were still doing it when I saw it. There's yeah. a girl in front of who was making the noise, m the most noise with a popcorn. It was. Yeah, it I'm, was, not, I'm not. A, I'm not terrible when it comes to people making noises with their food because I do enjoy my snacks and I probably make a few noises myself. When I I'm sure you're not as noisy though. I've been no. to the cinema quite a few times with you. and you're... Yeah, but it doesn't bother me as much. Right. What other, what other things bother you? Oh my God, there? the list is endless. <laughs> <laughs> How much time have you got? <laughs> Seriously, people annoy me anyway in life, not just in the cinema, but people just, yeah. Um, coughing, you can't help that because obviously that's... Yeah, if but if you're, you're gonna, if, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna be like me and every five minutes have hay fever, mm. then you know, step outside. Yeah, you know, I don't think also a lot of the management at these cinemas they care really, uh, and you never see people inside the auditorium. It's not in inside. You know, when people are watching a film, you don't see staff really. Yeah, I think you're just left to your own devices most they of the are. time. I think you really have, especially in the UK. I think you really have to complain to. Uh, get a staffer and, and sometimes it. it doesn't do anything either yeah. I've complained a few times before I've written letters but yeah I'd be interested to hear what you think as well um, whether you've had a film ruined because of that kind of experience I've I've actually have I walked out of a film when people have been, I, ha I think I have actually a couple of times um, yeah and even back before the days of having an unlimited card I just I hate that whole principle of it you know if you're spending money you, sh you shouldn't have it ruined by selfish people. That's true, that's true. Speaking of the cinema card, what do you think of this? Because there's a lot of like things going on with America where they're going to, or they're just starting to roll out <clears throat> their version of the unlimited card, which didn't go so well, called Movie Pass. Right. Um, they're actually, the company that's doing it is actually losing money per transaction. Um, so they'll pro that'll probably go for another couple of years. Um, before it gets profitable or they decide that they're just losing too much money on it before the cinemas start doing their own version of it like Cineworld does here. Now, interestingly enough, Cineworld owns Regal Cinemas in the US and this whole Cineworld card thing, and this is what I've read, is actually just a big test to see if it works here so they can roll it out to the big US market Interesting. Um, in Regal Cinemas. Most of us love the Cineworld card, um, but we're just a big test to see if it actually will work. That's really interesting in the big because movie market. obviously that would be major competition. Because I can't think of any other cards. Uh, I mean, do do the Odeon Cinema do an unlimited? They must they do, do an unlimited card. Odeon does it. Yep. But I can't think of many other chains that do that. I they, guess the independent cinemas would do. I it. actually just saw a couple of days ago. Uh, there's another uh, unlimited card as well, um, which is a little bit cheaper than the Cineworld card. So I think that these services of seeing movies as unlimited as you want or you know as movie pass does it up to 10 movies a month i think it's here to stay actually so why did they not make the money because they weren't charging enough for the card or and um, people were seeing too many films what's a movie pass thing it's a bit weird because they actually issue you a mastercard uh, with this movie pass thing on i've never used, used it i don't know of any friends that uh, actually have it in the states i've never experienced it um, so to speak, because obviously I don't go to the movies in the U.S. Mm. that much, except for South by South. Festivals, yeah. yeah. And uh, but the people that have it love it. But apparently, um, the, the it's a third-party data company that is running this, and apparently they're losing money per each transaction. So now, um, and all the movie theaters are pushing back, especially AMC, which is another big movie theater chain in America. They're actually saying that they're restricting uh, the number of uh, people who can use Movie Pass or you know putting up blockers on times that sort of thing. And now the Movie Pass company is trying to uh, get percentages of the ticket sales and percentages of the concessions. And AMC have very boldly said that, that is never going to happen. I think what will happen is AMC will probably roll out their own version of it. So. Um, but just be wary, movie pass goers, because it used to be unlimited. They knocked it down to ten movies a month now, and um, it's still going to be two years before the company is profitable. So um, that service is either going to stay and take two years to make money, or it's going to go uh, probably be to be replaced by um, their own movie theaters doing their own version of the program, like Regal and Cineworld. Yeah. Again. 
Well, these are changing times. I mean, they've yeah. got to keep up with these times now because yeah. it changes so fast yeah. with technology and with people watching a lot at home. Interestingly enough, in the UK, we pay eight, 17 to 20 pounds per month for the Cine World card, but the movie pass thing in America is only like ten dollars. Yeah. Month. So maybe they're not even charging enough. I was so. just going to say, yeah, it's obviously not profitable enough for them but the, when they go so low. But the twenty pounds a month that I pay, because I I use I use the Leicester Square Cinema as well, uh, which is really nice, by the way. If anyone hasn't been to that cinema lately, they've really done a fantastic job. Yeah. Of, uh, refurbing Very plush. It. Yeah. Um, I don't even notice the twenty pounds a month. You know, just See, that's what you out, want. That's so, what yeah. they want too, isn't it? Yeah. So I think if if Movie Pass, if anything, they should probably increase their price, double it. One thing I will say though, which I think is really important, is that the cinema is a really important thing, and I don't think we should forget that either. Because with the importance of people watching in the comfort of their own homes, I don't think you can really beat going to a cinema to experience a movie, especially yeah. first time round. Yeah. Especially if it's a movie like the kind of movies that you like, yeah. which are action films. Yeah. I think you've got to see it on a big screen with fantastic sound. Yeah. Yes, we, we can kind of get the next best thing at home, but I think it's really important. I'd, I'd, I hate to see cinemas dying out too, with the problems of p people being, you know, bad They're in cinemas. They're also toying with the idea of a sliding scale for, for movies. So like the independent movies for, let's say like, Tully and you know um, Anchor and Hope and movies you know small independent movies we've just seen. They're thinking about charging five dollars for those films, but for you know Avengers: Infinity War they'll you know charge twenty. So yeah. it might be a sliding scale. What do you yeah. think about that? Well, I don't think you should really make any movie less important than another because everyone's yeah. got different tastes. So yeah. you know I could maybe give. Anchor and Hope five star, whereas you would give a superhero movie five star, and I yeah. wouldn't because it's not really my thing. Um, so I think movies are important to people regardless of you know. I don't think there should be but any but scaling. Interestingly enough, though, do you think the, that mo small independent movies are losing out on money because the theaters are charging you know maybe yeah possibly you know, seventeen to twenty pounds or dollars a yeah. film when. Actually, for five pounds, they still would want you to see that movie. But I think seeing the movie is the important thing. And I suppose that could give them a helping hand yeah. too. Even Very though controversial. Are, it is quite a controversial <laughs> debate. <laughs> Let us know what you think. Uh, leave a comment below. Um, maybe you've been disgruntled by something in the cinema, or maybe you've turned it around, or maybe someone else has turned it around. Have you got through that experience of being, you know, rattled by something in the movies? Let us know, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>